All right, so talking about materials, let's perhaps apply a material to the top angled uh, face that we were talking about putting a logo or lettering or what have you on. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go to UV editing. UV editing is basically cutting a mesh and laying it out flat so that you can more precisely apply materials or textures. So I'm going to, in the 3D view panel, uh, I'll just, for ease, select face select mode because what I'm interested in is this. For good measure, I'm going to go and I'm going to UV, I'm going to mark a seam. Not that it's necessary in this case I'm, because I think I'm only going to be working with this face. But still, it's kind of nice to do, uh, at least from my point of view. Over here, um, I'm going to go ahead and I'll just change this to face select mode and select this face. And I will push G to grab it. And I will push S to scale it up a bit. And then I'm going to open an image. Uh, and I think I've got something on my desktop that'll work. It's a PNG, so the quality could be a little, well, that, that should work. That should be fine. So that's what I've got. That's great. Uh, I'm going to just move that window over a little bit, and I'm going to come back over here. And let's take a look at materials. And I'm going to create a new material slot. And we can go ahead and create a new, actually, let's uh, create a new material itself. And then we can go ahead and change the yellow button to image texture. And see what we have. Well, there's our, house, uh, there's our, uh, our logo. So we'll go ahead and apply that. Now nothing appears to have changed. Let's make sure we're in this mode. Uh, for viewport shading, material preview should be fine. So that's great. Uh, now we can see that the material has actually changed. So I have this face selected. And if I select this material and I go ahead and I push the assign button, we should have what we want. Now let's just take a look here. If I uh, come back here to the 3D or to the uh, UV side and I push S to scale things up, well, that's a lot better, although I've got it repeating itself. So let's see if we can take a look at that. Um, if I slide this over and change repeat to clip, that's a little bit more like I would like it. Uh, yeah, that looks pretty nice. Now, I don't know if that's something I want to apply to the entire face or not. Probably not. So maybe I come back in and uh, make some changes to this. But at least for a quick visual, uh, if I go back into object mode, that's looking, you know, yeah, I think that works for, for my purposes for the time being.